All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon and one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Paul Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Yeah, he mixed it all up. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Body kick lands. Nice shot to the body. Three minutes in our opening round. Beautiful punch. That was a thudding leg kick. Back and forth we go. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedowns. Big body kick. Nice spinning attack there and able to land to the body. Ooh, what a punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Ooh. Oh, nice right hand. You see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Oh, him. he might be out. Big knee there. Watch the shot. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Misses with the left hook. He's able to slip the left there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Keep pushing. 
Way to hide that leg kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended as you would expect it to. Real sneaky body. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. So holding on to one thing now is easy to defend. When you start stringing together is when guys struggle. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Body kick is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! Oh, oh! Throwing hard in the pocket. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great punch landing with so much power. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Huge block there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at him whip his hips into oh. that kick. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Try to establish that jab. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land. Wow! He's, He's hurt bad. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold, know, know when, when to hold. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo stopped. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, oh and there's the it. tap. He got the finish. What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain, when you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another day. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Mountain.
All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the crown, and he would be able to finally finish by submission.